Hey, what's up, Speakerphiles? Will Anton here, and welcome to this video. With me, I have the JBL Boombox 2, as well as the older guides replacing the JBL Boombox. Um, I'll be taking a close look at it and see how it compares to the old guy. I'll be giving you an indoor sound sample and an outdoor sound sample as well as a low frequency response test. With all of that said, if that's what you're looking for, stay tuned. Let's take a close look at the JBL Boombox 2. The size of the two speakers is about the same, but the JBL Boombox 2 is about two and a half pounds heavier, and you can literally feel it when you lift the two speakers. Both are IPX7 rated, so completely waterproof. As far as design, there are a few touch-ups here and there, but the main frame is mostly unchanged, like you can see here. The buttons are still in the same place, but now instead of the Connect Plus button, we get the JBL Party Boost button. The battery indicator light has been touched up a little bit at the front here, and when we go to the back, there is one more surprise that caught me by surprise. <laughs> there is one more change that caught me by surprise. I think that's what I wanted to say. There is no indoor outdoor button, which personally I appreciated, but I'm not sure about everybody else. And the reason I, I like that, let me just go on a tangent here. The reason I like that is because when I do the sound sample, sound battle videos, the fact that I have to People are not usually very decisive of what sound mode they like, so I have to end up always having to record indoor mode, outdoor mode, and compare that to another speaker, which takes up a lot more time. So in that aspect, I do appreciate that they got rid of it, um, but also, Personally, although I usually liked the indoor mode, so I never used the outdoor mode basically ever, only when doing sound samples. So personally, I don't mind that they got rid of it, but if you're someone who used to love the indoor, I mean the outdoor mode, there is that. And as you can notice back here, the opening got smaller. And when you open it, you also notice that they got rid of one of the USB ports that you could use to charge your device. You still have one back there, but not two anymore like we used to have on the older JBL Boombox 1. Again, I personally don't mind that. I don't think I've ever used any of my speakers to recharge because I always, always have a power bank on me and I, I think it's easier that way. I don't use my boombox or any speakers. So I personally don't mind it, but something to point out. The new PRs have a new design on them. PRs, I mean passive radiators, have a new 3D design on them. I personally don't prefer one over the other, um, but there's one thing I noticed. If you play the speakers, same song, same volume. You can notice that the newer PRs can dance or react or are very more visible in their reaction to the sound in comparison to the older ones. So if you're the kind of person who you who just likes the way they look, it's very, very more pronounced on the newer um, PRs in comparison to the older ones. Okay, so that's everything I feel like that's worth mentioning on the outside. Um, how about the inside? Um, both the speakers are running two four inch drivers and two 20 millimeter tweeters. Um, the main difference here is that the old guy here used to run at 40 watts when plugged, I mean, when not plugged in, and when plugged in, it would run at 60 watts. Well, as this guy, the new Boombox 2, now runs at 60 watts when not plugged in, and 80 watts when plugged in. I made um, a video very recently comparing 60 watts versus uh, 80 watts. I'll link to it down there if you want to go watch it to get a feel of how the two 
uh, when plugged in compares to not plugged in on the boombox 2. Go watch that because um, I'm not going to be showing that in this video, all right? The Boombox 2 was also upgraded to Bluetooth version 5.1, well, as the old guy is too, obviously, running 4.2. And on that note, I was expecting the Boombox 2 to do a lot better between video and audio synchronization when watching videos, but it's about the same performance as what you would get on the Boombox 1. So, and also they still don't support APTX codecs. I don't know why. The FR or frequency response rating is still the same on both speakers and they are still rated for up to 24 hours of playtime on a single charge. Obviously, depending on how loud and what kind of music you're listening to. And like I mentioned before, when talking about the buttons, yes, we moved away from the Connect Plus that was on the Boombox to JBL Party Boost on the JBL Boombox. Two. Um, the two protocols are not compatible, so you cannot pair the two to play together. And at this point, there is honestly no point in complaining about them not making the two compatible uh, because they have been making a lot of speakers ever since the release of the Flip 5. They are all pretty boost connectivity. Um, my only hope is that when they do come out with the JBL Flip 6, because it seems like the technology always changes when they release the Flip speaker line of speakers or something like that. Um, but I'm hoping that when they release the Flip 6, we don't go to a different protocol that is not backward compatible to the Purdy Boost because, oh my gosh. I won't be happy, but there's nothing I can do about it. But at the same time, I also will not be surprised if they did something like that because this is JBL we are talking about. I don't think they care that much, but fingers crossed. Anyways, I think those are the main things worth pointing out as far as these two speakers. Um, so how about we talk about how they compare sound-wise? Like I promised, I'll be taking the speakers upstairs, my studio, give you a sound sample indoors, go outside and give you a sound sample out there as well as a frequency response test. Um, I will be using a high quality binaural microphone to record this. So for the best sound experience, please make sure you are using headphones. And with that said, how about we hear how the two speakers speak?
So that's it for the indoor portion of this sound sample. But before we go to the outside, I just wanted to let you know that I've had the speakers about just over 50 feet um, from the microphone that was recording. And also it was a little bit windy during the recording, but these are the kind of conditions that you're going to be coming across the outside if you're going to be using the speakers outside. So we cannot sit here and wait for the perfect condition to test them outside. Let's take them out there and hear how they struggle with the whichever weather is out there right now. So let's get into it. And right after the sound sample outdoors here, you will be listening to the F are or frequency response test low frequency response test enjoy big dollar bill stay with a big trail stay with a hundred mil big house in the hills ice cubes on my neck stay with the money yeah in the back counter stacks new bands i'm buying that all i see is green money all around me buy me on the throne yeah your girl be the queen be self-made bitch yeah i buy my own sh Fifty, I got plenty Rolex on my wrist. Got a stash in Brazil. Yeah, I got a couple meals. Yeah, call me the Don. Call the shots on ill. Got the house up in Philly where we get a little chilly. Got a condo in Toronto with my millies. Stack on millies. Possibilities will find us. A million things on your mind. Tomorrow, everyone will remind us of real life. But we don't gotta think about. And there you have it. What do you think? 
let me know in the comment um, section down there. And before we talk about the sound, I wanted to remind you, head over to Instagram and follow me. I share snippets of what I'm working on over there more than anywhere else, but you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm very, very present over there too. Also, do not forget to check out my merch store. Help support the channel. I'll leave the links to all that stuff in the description section down there. Okay, let's talk about what we heard. When it comes to loudness, both speakers are about the same. This is both indoors and outdoors. But depending on the song that you're listening to, the boombox one, the older guy might seem a little bit louder, but that's just because it has sharper highs in comparison to the new guy, the boombox two. Speaking of highs, the highs on the boom box two are not as sharp, but I feel like they sound slightly better than those on the boom box one with slightly better details, most especially indoors. The mints are also very close to the same, but the boom box two again sounds slightly better in this area too. When it comes to best performance, I feel like this is the area where JBL put most of its emphasis on the boom box too. You are getting slightly deeper and slightly cleaner bass in comparison to the boom box one. Indoors, you might not really feel very, very big difference, but when you bring the speakers outside playing at maximum volume, you can clearly hear the best performance of the boom box two way better than the boom box one. Even if you have the boom box one playing in indoor mode. So all in all, if you just focus on sound performance, the boom box two is a better performer in comparison to the older boom box. But at the same time, I kind of expected a little bit more out of the boom box too, most especially when I saw that the wattage has increased by that much. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit louder at least than the boom box one because yes, you get more punchy, more um, more power out of the boom box to here. And I appreciate that, but in those instances or songs where the boom box one seems louder than the boom box two, it just, there's something about the older guy being louder, which doesn't settle very well. Like I understand that sound is not about loudness, but at the same time, all those watts, you know, just going to concentrate on best performance. I feel like they could have made it a little bit louder. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with a firmware update, which kind of fixes that because I feel like also with bass performance, if you play a song that has a lot of bass going for it, as soon as that bass drops like deep bass, it will cut down the boom box to what I'm talking about. It will cut down all other frequencies of the sound just so it boosts or holds that bass and still bring it up to you. And this can get slightly annoying as sometimes as you're listening to a song and you keep kind of hearing a little bit of that, like bass is there, but then these other frequencies drop in and out. Um, so it gets annoying. I understand, you know, everybody wants bass. I love bass, everybody knows that, right? <laughs> but at the same time, just, the fact that the older guy sometimes sounds louder and the way this one, um, the the limiter is working, like concentrating on keeping bass and then kind of waving these other things up and down is just not good. So I guess the big question is, should you upgrade to the JBL Boombox 2? Or if you're a new buyer, should you buy the Boombox 2 instead of the first Boombox? And my honest answer is no. And I know I already mentioned that this sounds slightly better than the first boombox here, but for $500, when you can get the boombox one for even $300, I feel like the, the sound or the improvements that they did are not that much to me. They, they are not that much. Um, unless you're someone who generally likes to have newer stuff, 
but especially for someone who already has this just keep your speaker it's still good if you still have the older boom box unless you are the kind of person who just likes you're a collector you know like some of the people who follow me here um but if for a regular person there is no need to go from this and upgrade to this like i that price difference is just way too much maybe you wait until maybe the speaker falls in price which is usually when they release another boombox 3 maybe but as is right now i don't see a reason to upgrade and even if you're a new buyer you're just getting into the jbl boombox line of speakers save some money and buy the boom first boombox at least for the current pricing that we are seeing right now i don't think everybody needs to go on and upgrade all right this is just my thinking if you have a different thinking about these two speakers let me know in the comment section down there or go over to instagram i interact more with people over there uh, but otherwise yes go check out my merch store go to instagram and follow me over there i said that again didn't i instagram go follow me over there follow me on twitter and facebook too um, check out my merch store i'll leave the links in the description section down there also if you're new here and you like the video please leave it a like you know consider subscribing so you don't miss out on other sound battles that are coming that i'm going to be comparing the boom box to to a lot of other speakers so make sure you don't miss out on that subscribe hit the bell icon and i will see you guys in the next video peace